The Prime Minister and his wife, Mama Aida Odinga, had graced a ceremony in Nairobi to award golfers who excelled during the Jaramogi Oginga Odinga Commemoration Golf Tournament. Odinga kept off politics, instead focusing on matters sports. During the crisis, when you had serious crisis in this country, you had a golf tournament out there at Karen Club. And then I said the following of uh, the sport of golf. First I said, soccer is a game that is played by gentlemen and watched by thugs. <laughs> <laughs> Rugby, on the other hand, is a game played by thugs watched by gentlemen. <laughs> And finally, that golf is a game played by a gentleman and watched by a gentleman. And using the golf language, the Prime Minister metaphorically referred to his presidential ambitions. He is making a third shot at the presidency in the forthcoming race to State House. I have had several false starts in golf, starting and then running out of time and not competing. This is now my third start, and I hope that very soon I'm going to get a handicap. In Garissa County, Defense Minister Yusuf Haji challenged G7 Alliance presidential hopefuls among them Uhuru Kenyatta and William Ruto to settle on who among them will fly the alliance's flag in the presidential contest. Ni lazima, lazima wakubaliane moja yao awe flag bearer, ule ambaye atakuwa president na mwingine awa makamu ya rais. Wakikata. Wakikata. Another presidential hopeful, Education PS Professor James Ole Kiapi, was at Ortum Boys High School in West Pokot County for the launch of an economic stimulus package project. Kiapi is set to quit the government next month to concentrate on his presidential bid, announced that the government would immediately hire 40,000 teachers to alleviate the teacher shortage that currently stands at 80,000. Francis Gashore, citizen at one.